بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم Turkey, once a bastion of Islamic strength, began to fall and destruction reigned everywhere. This was no coincidence, rather a nefarious plot meticulously woven by the disbelievers. As the cataclysmic events unfurled, Israel became more active and increased their operations with unwavering intensity inside Palestine, and audaciously they constructed the Temple of the Jaw. Helpless were the Muslims as they watched in anguish and all they could do was desperately protest. Then Israel forged alliances with other nations far and wide, spreading corruption like a venomous plague. The United States was amongst their allies and offered its intelligence to aid Israel's diabolical cause. But Russia, ever watchful, perceived the sinister plot unfolding and swiftly forged its own alliances with neighboring nations. The Russian bear embarked upon a relentless pursuit of dominion in the Middle East. And so, the two behemoths clashed in the Middle East, their ambitions set aflame, as if both lusted after the conquest of the entire world. Then America, heedless of restraint, thrust itself into the Middle East, joining hands with Israel and their allies. Together, they clashed in battle against the proxies of Russia invoking a cataclysmic response from the Russians and its allies. Thus, the embers of World War III were ignited, with the countries of the Middle East serving as the harrowing background and the Muslims as the unfortunate pawns. Amidst the ravages of war, the destruction unfolded with unparalleled ferocity, a spectacle so horrifying that neither the Muslims could withstand the onslaught nor could any force come to their aid. Blood-soaked trials of anguish traversed the lands of the Muslims, such as Egypt, Sudan, Saudi Arabia, Kuwait, and the United Arab Emirates, consuming the very fabric of the Middle East. The team of Israel were gaining more and more allies, and some Muslim nations even aligned themselves with either America or Russia. Both superpowers clung to their captured territories, firmly establishing their footholds as they waged a merciless war against one another while slaughtering the Muslims. Amidst the chaos of World War III, a glimmer of hope emerged from the East. The Mahdi had fortified his nation's strength and defenses to protect his Muslim and non-Muslim citizens and refugees prior to the outbreak of the Great War and waited patiently to strike, expanding his influence as neighboring countries aligned themselves with his noble cause. India, an ally of Israel, maliciously attacked Pakistan, provocatively goading the Mahdi into battle. America, Israel, and several Muslim countries helped India against Pakistan, and thus Pakistan had a large amount of enemies. Surrounded by a multitude of adversaries, Pakistan found itself standing firm against a vast array of enemies who harbored animosity towards the nation. They sought to undermine the strength and resilience of Pakistan, driven by a malevolent desire to extinguish the light of Islam and eradicate the last stronghold of the Muslim Ummah. Undeterred by the overwhelming odds, the Mahdi's faithful warriors braced themselves for battle, reminiscing the ancient battle of Badr, the first strike of the believers against the Mushrik tyrants. Then the Mahdi prays to Allah for help, and so, Allah bestows upon Pakistan a fleet of 3,000 black fighter aircrafts, dark banshees of terror ready to unleash devastation. And thus, the war against India begins, igniting Ghazwatul Hind. The enemies of Allah had unknowingly stoked the flames of determination within the hearts of the faithful. With each passing moment, the light of Islam burned even more fiercely fueling the spirit of the soldiers of Allah. Against insurmountable odds, with the help of Allah, Pakistan emerged triumphant over their enemies. Pakistan conquered India, as well as Bangladesh and Afghanistan, and after claiming victory over India, Indonesia and Malaysia joined the ranks of the Mahdi's Caliphate as well. Then, the Mahdi turned his gaze westward, maneuvering as lightning into the raging flames of the Middle East. 
Witnessing this brave display, Russia, America, and their allies united under a new coalition, their combined might converging upon the forces of the Mahdi. But the army of the Mahdi stood unyielding, their resolve unbreakable. With their deadly engines of war, the black standards becoming instruments of divine retribution, striking dread into the hearts of their enemies. Like an unstoppable storm, the Mahdi's forces surged forth, leaving no opposition unchallenged, no campaign unvanquished. The Russian bear, the American eagle, and their allies succumbed to the fury of the Mahdi's army. By the boundless mercy of Allah, Pakistan emerged victorious, defeating both superpowers in a stunning display of resilience and strength. With the defeat of their foes, Pakistan ascended to the realm of global hyperpower, reclaiming dominion over the Middle East and the Muslim nations, including Palestine, India, and perhaps Al-Andalus. These lands became an integral part of the Mahdi's Caliphate, and the Muslims began rebuilding these areas and the true Islam of Prophet Muhammad وسلم, began to take root and flourish. And peace finally prevailed in the very crucible where humanity's greatest war had once raged. Islam eventually made its way into every household and the true Islam of Prophet Muhammad وسلم, spread all over the world. Nevertheless, this peace lasted around seven to eight years until the emergence of the false messiah. Allah. 